What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can try to fix some common simple issues with your computer. Maybe it's an audio problem or a Windows media problem, Windows update problem, firewall uh, or anything like that, uh, network adapter. Any of these issues you can always start with um, your Windows operating system. There is tools built into this that actually let you run some scans to try to fix some common issues okay now there's also a little piece of software you can use called fixwin2 which might make it a bit easier for you to navigate and this is made by the windows club and as you can see here they have made previous versions of this for windows 7 and before and this one's called fixwin2 i think it's 2.1 now which actually works with windows 8 and 8.1 and it fixes a lot of common issues and it's a handy little tool to have okay so you can see here 50 common windows annoyances so I've already got this downloaded on my desktop, but first, before I start this, I just want to quickly show you something on Windows 8 and 8.1, which probably a lot of people don't even know. Uh, so we're going to quickly look here and type in trouble shooting. And if I put trouble, you can see it pops up here. Now here you will have a little window opening up with troubleshooting, and this allows you to run some basic scans, okay, on certain areas that you may be having problems with. Maybe it's power, maybe it's network adapter. So if you click on this, it will run and try to fix some minor issues with uh, your network adapter, okay? Now this is the first portal call that you wanna to try to do first before you start going to forums and stuff like that and asking for help. Because sometimes uh, these can be resolved very quick and easily, as you can see here, Windows update and stuff like that system maintenance and so on so once you've uh, exhausted this you can also use tools and software and other methods of uh, diagnosing problems but I just wanted to take a quick look at this uh, program here so let's uh, open this up you can close that back off now as you can see here this is the actual uh, tool here that's called fixwin 2.1 now but this actually has a system file checker here. Now you don't need to use this, you can actually use a command prompt and stuff like that, but this is nice and handy to have it all in one place. So you can run a system file checker, which is a good place to start, and you can also create a restore point, which is also very important if you've got problems with your computer before you start digging in and uh, making changes to stuff and try to fix stuff, it's always good to have a, a backup or restore point to roll back to. So once we've done that, we can look at File Explorer. You can see loads of uh, common uh, fixes here, like your CD or DVD drive isn't recognized, um, recycle bin is corrupted, or recycle bin is missing from your desktop, uh, and stuff like that, okay? Explorer doesn't start on startup of Windows. You can try this fix here. Very common and very uh, easy to do. You just click on this, and it will try to fix that. Internet and uh, connectivity, again, you've got your right right click context menu internet explorer is disabled and so on you can try all these fixes here clearing the dns uh, resolver or cache you can always do that here and there's normally um, these will help uh, fix a lot of common issues as i said repair winsock which is another nice little tool to have reset internet explorer to default configuration a nice little tool if you've had malware and stuff like that on the system now again, you can do these manually yourself, but this is a nice little tool to have to make shortcuts to these quick fixes. So we can see reset a Windows firewall here. And if you go through these, I'm not gonna to spend too much time going through every single one of them, but as you can see, it's laden with loads and loads of little tools that you can use to fix common issues. So restore point has been, dis uh, system restore has been disabled. You can try this fix here and so on. Task manager has been disabled, command prompt has been disabled. These are all common issues with um, malware after malware removal, uh, registry editor and stuff like that you can see here. And uh, you can run through here. This is your troubleshooters area, which is what I was showing you earlier on where inside Windows. And these are shortcuts to these areas, which I think is a really nice touch because it saves you having to search through through there and you can use these now these are basically you click on this and it will open up which i was just showing you just now in troubleshooting again additional fixes these are the most common uh, additional fixes that you can try to use um, and this is just about the actual um, site the windows club okay so anyway that's basically fix win 2 
5.1 you can use this to fix a lot of common issues and if you're having still problems you can always use our forums and stuff like that and post on there or use the windows club forum or or any other type of forum to post your problems and you'll get generally a lot of people over there that will try to help you fix your issue for free okay Anyway, hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. You can also head over to the forums and my Facebook page and post on there if you've got questions and stuff like that, and I'll try and do my best to answer them for you. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Bye for now.